do make a list and organize people into subgroups. Atomy, finally relied strategy. In Atomy, we have masterships which give us big amounts of money. So it's very important not only to make a list of who you might introduce the wonderful Atomy products, which are all absolute high quality at very absolute low price, lower than wholesale. So you know you're gonna to wanna to share with different people. What we wanna do in Atomy is cluster or combine people who know each other into subgroups before we even think of placing them on the left right, the left line, or the right line. So examples of some subgroups that you'll make are family, coworkers, neighbors, high school friends, college friends, faith community members, and children's friends' parents. These are just some examples. But what we want to make sure we do is if people know each other, then keep them together. What you want to do next is think about where you're going to place these subgroups. And there are some guidelines for this. So for example, when you come into a line, you're going to be on one main line. Usually that's the left line. And everybody's responsible for two lines. So your family is going to go on the right line as a matter of principle. Now you're also going to have coworkers, and we would suggest you put them on the left side, neighbors, and even college friends. Um, those people we suggest to put on your left line. And faith community, you could put them on the right line. Now, depending on your specific situation, there may be some variations. So for example, if you have a huge family with hundreds of cousins, well, maybe then you'll put your faith group on the left side because your right group family line would be so long and many people. On the other hand, if you do not have a lot of family, let's say you have just a handful of siblings and not many cousins, then you would definitely put your faith group there. If you don't have a faith group, you have very little family, then maybe you'd put your neighbors there, especially if they do know your family, especially childhood. So there is a variation depending on your specific situation, but the key point here is keep the subgroups together and put your family on your right line. And of course, never separate anybody who's in the same subgroup. Now, it's typical principle in a binary line system to put a few people at the beginning on your left line, same line you came in. That's the way that power lines grow. So maybe you'll pick your coworkers or your neighbors or your college friends as we talked about, but start off by putting a few people on the left side. This is especially good if you're not even sure if you wanna do the business. And the reality is that most people, when they start as a consumer anatomy, think they'll never want to do business with anatomy. In fact, some of us don't even know that there is money to be made. That's the case with my wife and I. We were using the products for a year before we even knew that there was cash back or even some big income. So as you're introducing people to products, and you want to register them, do put two people on your left side as a general matter of principle. Then when you are serious about making income, that's when you start to build your second line. So now you're gonna to start to register your family and other people if you need to. Now you're probably wondering why are you telling us so strongly to keep people in subgroups. There's three reasons I wanna share with you. The first is to avoid conflicts. You wanna synchronize the people together. And if people know each other, then they are gonna help each other and we reward people to get mastership bonuses. And when people work together, know each other, then that's excellent. A second reason is that 
keeping people in subgroups creates synergy and momentum. So people get excited when they start to receive $60 checks and start to enjoy the products and they share with each other and everybody is gonna benefit from not only the products, but the PV and they're gonna share that PV and that's why we keep them together on a subgroup, in a subgroup on the same line. Also by having subgroups, it shortens the time for us to reach the big money in Atomy. So teamwork with subgroups equals power and speed in the Atomy compensation system. Now, another big reason is that the three pots of money are best used when you have subgroups. So for example, one pot of money is our general commission. We can make up to $30,000 a month of general commission. And this is based only on point values. So theoretically, you could have many, many, many consumers, especially since we have unlimited levels of accumulated PV, and you could make $30,000 a month. Of course, that's the maximum for general commission. But I mentioned before, we have a $100,000 potential, and that is the limit in Adam, $100,000 a month of income. And out of that $100,000 a month, 70,000 or 70% 70 comes from mastership bonuses. Mastership bonuses are paid when our partners who joined after us and who work together with us in synergy receive masterships. So as you can see, the big money, 70,000 is from mastership bonuses. It's also faster if you're working with other people, both to gain new consumers and to gain new income seeking business partners. Now, I do want to tell you that there is a third bucket, which is another big, big opportunity. We have one time special promotions and at each level of success, you receive a certain chunk of money, one time cash plus prizes. And if you add all of those cash one time prizes up, it's just about $1.3 million. Very nice. In addition, there's a monthly debit card, use it or lose it, which at the highest level of the Bureau Master reaches 120,000. But let's come back to the mastership bonus and the line strategy of how to work together with people in subgroups. Now, as we go up the ladder success from $2,000 as a sales master on the bottom to our imperial master of $100,000, we're gonna be working together with these different subgroups. And as you can see, $100,000 a month is $1.2 million or equal to the salary of a president of a mid-sized company. So this is big, big money and it pays to follow the best strategy. So you do wanna to listen to your sponsors who you have committed to work with together and who you have chemistry with because they've been through this before and they're already rising. So they can help you with your strategy, help you grow as a leader to be successful with your subgroups and you're gonna be part of their subgroups. Now that you know you need subgroups to understand what we're doing, who do you contact first? Here are a couple of suggestions. First, look for customers. Atomy is unique in that the products drive everything. We do not compensate you with any fee for recruiting anybody. That's done by other companies that call themselves MLMs. In Atomy, it's all product driven. So we want customers who have faces, hair, body, or who wanna grow their hair, we have that product too. But people who have needs for personal care, hygiene, hair care, um, supplements, food, all kinds of daily necessities we have. And so anybody can be a customer with Atomy. And because the products are so high quality, we satisfy the people who love high quality. And the products are also very low price. 
at or below wholesale. So everybody really enjoys the products. So we do not want to look for people and tell them, will you do business with me? No, everything's free for customers and business people. So just get people to enjoy the products. So talk to people who are going to be your customers. The second thing to think about is mindset. Look for people on your list and in those subgroups who are open-minded to new products. You know who they are. People that love to try the, to try the latest and greatest K-beauty products because we are K-beauty from Adam e. Korea. And they're open to that. And also look for people who are, care about others. They love to help other people out, whether it's with their health condition, their beauty, or just in general. And of course, people who have a cooperative mindset. Those are the people from each of the groups. Try to find at least one person from each of your subgroup that has that kind of mindset and is willing to be a customer. The other thing to think about when you're first contacting people is what is your relationship with them? Do you already contact them often? For example, weekly or daily? Do you already have a trust relationship with them? Third, are they local? Are they within 30 minutes? Because if they are, you'll have a chance to show them some product, maybe deliver some product at first so they don't have to feel obligated to sign up right away on the website. And also remember people that you are in contact with regularly because they're gonna be the easiest ones to have that um, conversation with about how great things are. They'll also be seeing you at a local event, whether it's your child's school, your office, as we know, or local relatives. So those are the three things to think about when you're contacting the first people in a subgroup.